Hi guys, I'm going to try to film this as quickly as possible. So if I go really fast, I'm sorry. I already have most of this uh, kit. Well, first of all, this is for <laughs> uh, the mini kit Monday, August 2018 kit. And what I'm going to be starting off with is this Scraptastic Kit Club uh, May 2015 Purple Rain Kit. I did a layout for the crafty date with Maggie and Daisy for this uh, last day of Ju for the last day of July, and I did use part of this kit or some of this kit in order for me to do that layout. So if you want to check that out and see what I used from this kit. For that layout go ahead and check that video out I will try and link it in one of those iCard in the iCard corner or whatever uh, if I remember so anyway let me get started because I'm already rambling a minute in and so I'm going to be showing you what I have left of this kit it's pretty much intact uh, save for a few sheets and stuff but um, here it goes so I'm going to use or what it has I should say I don't know how much of it I'm going to use is this acrylic word love then there's a vellum word cut out the same way but and it says love it has these two little sprig wood veneers it has these three motifs one's a hummingbird one's a crane and one's a, a dove I guess these are acrylic pieces it also has this one circle one circle uh, acrylic piece and it has the word love edged into it. I think I might add um, acrylic paint to emphasize that. It does come with this um, Webster's Pages and I already used a label off of this. It comes with these ephemera bits and I did use some of them or I used one of them. <laughs> Not all of them but just one. So it has that. It has these labels. I guess I should use this. Let's see here. It has these cut aparts. This one says happy and this one says lovely. Um, and these came in the Scraptastic kit. Everything here comes in the Scraptastic kit. I did use, um, it does have these labels. So I hope you can see them. That one says so much love. That one says no, this is a floral one. And that one says happy thoughts. So let me just kind of line them up right there so you can see them quickly. Okay, then I have this left over from a Dear Lizzie paper and then these are just paper strips from that uh, Scraptastic Kit Club paper you'll see in a minute, it's a polka dot one. And then I have these vinyl bows from Dear Lizzie. I remember those were from Dear Lizzie. These two paper clips, I don't know where they're from. And then I have these three flare. And I have more flare that I'm gonna try to use or I added to this kit, but I'll show that later. I have this polka dot paper that was an exclusive to Scraptastic Kit Club. I have this part of the um, cardstock. This was also in the kit. This was from My Mind's Eye on Trend. And it has a gold foil and it has this stripe here. Um, here is a an acrylic, what is this? Yeah, like an acrylic um, overlay, a clear overlay from Bella Boulevard. It's called Gulf Confetti. Then for the paper, we have this uh, We Are um, Memory Keepers Hello Darling, and this one's called Jubilee, and it has this stripey thing on the back, or doodly border. It has this purplish polka dot one, and it has this triangle one on the back. This is a um, from Skep the Scraptastic Kit Club. This is an exclusive and it's dot to dot. I think that's what it's called. Then there's another Scraptastic exclusive and that has that motif with the origami. These are all upside down. I'm so sorry. And then the other side of this is this, um, it's like a lined striped pink paper. Then it has this floral from We Are Memory Keepers, also from the Hello Darling line. And on the other side it has this blue geometric um, then the last one it has, I can't remember if this came in the kit or if I added it afterwards, afterwards and it just got mixed up. Either way, it's from Craft Market. It's called Handmade by Crate Paper. So that was in here. I really love this side. 
And then the other two cardstocks that it came with is this pink shimmery one and this white one. So those are the ones that it came with. Now after this, I decided to add some more stuff to the mini kit. And, um, well, I don't know how, I kind of went overboard, I guess. Uh, but I am just going to show the paper right now. So these are the one part and then I'll start off with these. These were from, from Heidi Swamp. They were in the zipper pouches and I just took them out because I'm going to try and use them. It also, I also took out some Heidi Swamp paper from a paper stack and I'm pulling all these out because I think they go and that's what I'm using for paper that goes with this. I thought they went real well and in my opinion. Then I also pulled out I also pulled out these two eight and a half by 11s. I think they're both from Amy Tangerine or this one might be from Dear Lizzie. I'm not too sure. But they're pink and black and I added this black one because it has black there. I also uh, brought in this uh, scrap paper from Simple Stories and I pulled out some more of those. These come in like different colors and they're just wood grain on like a mint, uh, <laughs> a cream color. And then there's a different type of wood grain in like a darker kind of green, but I felt like it went. Then I also pulled out this crepe paper from another, this was from another Scraptastic Kit Club kit, and I just decided to, um, I just decided to include it in here because I had it left over. And they sort of went, so I decided to just keep it. The same with this one. This is from Wonderlust from Heidi Swap, which is why... Uh, when I brought this in, I brought on in all the Heidi Swap stuff that you'll see later also. This is another um, Heidi Swap and this one too. And these are from the Hello Today. And then, so this is the paper that I'm using for Mini Kit Monday. As you can see, hopefully, hopefully I can incorporate all of it or most of it and use, hopefully I can use a lot of it up. But in case I do, which is unlikely, um... I did pull out other paper and I asked Becky if it was okay if I could continue using this with the embellishments throughout the whole month instead of just Mondays and she was really cool about it. She didn't have a problem with me using the same kit throughout the whole month. So I included this uh, chipboard sheet, this uh, six, 6 by 12 cardstock sticker sheet from Craft Market. Th these are all from Craft Market and this... Um, the standouts from Cray Paper. And these include burlap and gold foil and the teals and the pink. So that's something else I included to go with this kit. And then the, the other stuff that I pulled, just in case, just in case I didn't have enough. <laughs> I also pulled some more papers from the Hello Today. Actually, this isn't Hello Today. This this is Hello Today. These are just scraps. This yellow, I was thinking of hopefully getting it in. Um, I have this glittered chevron, this nice floral that kind of has distressing, like going here. And then this one has like, um, what is that? Like type font and then a uh, color. And then um, it has that circle pattern. So I included those, and then from my favorite things from Heidi Swap, I also included these two pieces of scratch piece of paper, and the other side of the stripe has this blue. I included this green color. I'm not gonna use this side, but that's what it has. They're double-sided. And then this blue little print, that's a little floral, a little flower pattern, and it has this geometric. I don't think I'm gonna use this side. I'm gonna use this side. So that's all I have as far as paper goes. I did reserve the right to pull out or exchange more paper from this pad, which I'm nearly done with. That's all I have left. Or this paper pad, which is also from Heidi Swap. Um, and this is pretty also. It's got the stripe, you know, the Heidi Swap uh, aesthetic. <laughs> it has lots of mints, lots of pinks, blacks and whites, and florals, geometrics. It's just gorgeous all around paper. So those are also the ones I decided to include. Hopefully I'll get to use this up first and then uh, we'll see what we have left over at the end of the month of August.
thank you so much for watching and I'll get on with the rest of the video where I included the rest of the embellishments. Bye! And Oh, where are you, bird paper? That's the one I'm looking for. Oh no, here, we'll do this one. I love these, these papers. It's just so much fun, right? Oh, there it is. I found it. Okay, and there's the yellow that you can see. So, I've got, X oh, I'm so sorry. I, I don't like to hear that when I hear it on videos and I just did it. I'm truly sorry. Okay, so here's the black, the pink, the purple, the off greenish. So I wanted to use these embellishments. I'm sorry if they glare a lot. I'll, I guess I'll just move them right along. These are gemstones or rhinestone shapes. They're very um, dimensional. Then I pulled out this. Um, I pulled out this puffy sticker set because I do like the soft colors and this pink salmony color I like and the teal also. I have stamps that I wanted to use. I pulled them out as well. Hopefully they'll be able to, I'll be able to use them. I try and push myself to use stamps when I can. Have a snack. Okay. Have an apple and a, and a, one of those bars. Okay. okay. Sorry, my son just came in to ask me for a snack. And um, I also pulled out this, but I'm not using the whole pack. I only pulled out these to use. Or these are the ones I intend to use. Hopefully it works out that way. But I figured that matched with that yellow green thing. This is a multicolor one. Here's the stripe one. Then they're cut out. It says happy, wish, true. This one has a polka dot. And it's pink, it's like a stressed, distressed pink. And then this is a gray with stars on it. It's a large banner size die cut. So I've been hoarding all these, but I wanna use them because they're cute and pretty and, and I can't put that back. I'll just put it on top. And then I didn't wanna go the gold route because the the collection itself came with these, um, the paper clips, these paper clips. And so I originally thought I was going to want everything to be in, and you all you see is glare. I'm so sorry. These uh, silver paper clips. And so I was going to put everything in here silver, but there was some stuff that could go great with the gold as well. So I pulled out both. Uh, so now I have silver and gray mixed in. I'm probably not going to use them together, but I figured they would all be great separate. I do love the greens together from this. Um, this is from Heidi Swap's Favorite Things. It's a little sticker sheet set that came in like a planner or um, a little mini album or something to the like. And then this gold book was the same thing. So that has gold words and gold labels and gold arrows. So there's that one. Then I saw these paper clips and they're silver also and they go with the line. So I figured I'd bring those in. I brought in a washi book and this has gold in it. Where is it? Like that. It's kind of like a dull gold. So I don't mind that, but it does have a lot of the colors. And uh, I pulled out some mink stuff. I don't know if I'll use my mink, but even alone, they can they can stand alone as dark embellishments or as um, the color that they come in. Here are some more. These are like washi stickers. They're see-through. And then these are all different words uh, in acetate. And they go, the colors go well. Here's some puffy stickers. This one says memories and this one says believe. Sure. Go ahead, babe. Then I also pulled out this die cut set that has the resist that you can use the Heidi Swap sprays with. These are from 2013 and I have not used, it says eight. So one, two, three, four. I've used half of this pack, so they should be ready to be used. Uh, these all matched pretty well, so I like these. These are enamel stickers. They all went well with the collection. Here's some more mink stickers. And then, I mean, I pulled out a ton, a ton, a ton of embellishments. If, I mean, 
maybe a ton for me it's a ton I'm probably not gonna even make <laughs> this is me I'm probably gonna be late in making four layouts for the month let alone thinking that I'm gonna make a hundred or not so many maybe like 40 layouts with this with this kit but I pulled this out and then I went through her little paper stack and I pulled these out as well so I'll just go quickly and some of them don't match exactly but they kind of go so I figured I'd pull them and they'd be great as layering but if this is all the same kind of color family and feel it's very it's not I don't want to say modern but it's kind of like a clean look with all the geometrics these are teal glittery stickers these are two rub-ons that I had left and so I if you have these rub-ons and there's you're either too dry in your climate um rub them on to a paper I that's what I did to the these and uh, they didn't come out so great but they're still usable so I'm planning to use them somewhere but those are the last two that I have for there and then I also have this in silver oops sorry but you can see the silver and here are the words you can you can see them there so I'm gonna see if this still works if not I have that rub on sticker foil kit also in silver here's a wood grain a wood veneer word and then that's all my Heidi Swap stuff, hooray. Well, that's not all my Heidi Swap stuff, but it is the stuff that I pulled out for this kit. I also pulled out some generic embellishments. Can you even see the inspiration anymore? Let's move this or let's move this out of the way. Um, I figured the blacks would go or these corals try to make it work. I know this won't go these browns. Or maybe because the the crepe paper is kind of on that tone, the cream tone. But I do have these, and I know there's not a, a blue, but there is a yellowish, and there is like this this color too that'll lend itself to it. And I brought out some craft labels. Um, I was thinking of bringing in some craft paper, but I'm not too sure now. I brought in all kinds of labels. Uh, these are black and there's different shapes like kind of like this in them here's some more black shapes and like I said I had originally planned on pulling silver for this kit so I pulled this thickers alphabet set and I have A's and E's and I have R's T's okay good I, I'm glad I still have enough vowels because I gave like half of my sets to my thicker set to my friend and I'm kind of disappointed because she doesn't scrapbook as much as I'd like her to and anyway long story <laughs> and then these are felt stickers that have been in my these is making memories thickers or their version of thickers which these are I'm sorry to say it guys these are crap they don't hold their shape these are from 2008 and maybe in 2008 they did hold their shape <laughs> but they don't now but I cannot throw them out I want to use them up and look at me I have two same with this I have these few silver shapes left and numbers and so I want to try and use those this is a pebbles sticker sheet set I didn't I don't ever use them and I don't know why I keep buying them I found this one at Tuesday morning this is the joy parade by Kim Watson and it has um, colors that are similar I thought uh, definitely not this orange one but this greenish yellow the, the blue or the even the teal uh, the light blue one the pink and this one looks like a black so that'll work and I do have the label set of this fancy pants and so I know that I'm gonna use this and I think I'm gonna pull out the labels too I do have these washies there's a pink like a hot pink and then this is a, a soft pink that green one and a yellow uh, like a bubble yellow print I should have put these out on a piece of paper I guess foresight didn't have it so these are darker teals and then a geometric one can you see that that geometric one and then like a solid one and then here's some more I brought out these dark ones and this one even has these two have gold and this is like a like a soft grit dark 
soft black, I guess, and two black ones, and this one's geometric as well. And the last thing I have, or the last few things I have, I think, no, I don't, oh my God, I better hurry. Um, sequins, these are from Teresa Collins, and then I have this Hobby Lobby uh, heart sticker sheet set. It has different uh, hearts. And then bonus, this was my bonus round, guys. This is the stuff that I've been inspired to use and to kind of push myself to use. Uh, this is another Heidi Swap sticker sh sheet, but these are from Pink Paisley's Moonlight Collection. It has some butterflies in that black motif and in the pinkish motif, so I thought those would be great. This is a journaling spot. And then these are all Project Live cards in the my favorite things collection and so I figured I can cut shapes out of them I can um, layer them I can cut out the words I can use them as titles I'm gonna do something with this so I pulled out n not even I pulled out several but maybe I can even make the layouts in a project lifestyle or pocket page stuff this one loan embellishment was in my drawer. These are some acrylic and some sequins that I pulled out. I pulled them out into sev several colors, even that hot pink. And then I pulled out these, uh, what are these called guys? Um, vellum. I cut vellum into shapes and I also sprayed it with some purple shine spray. There's a die cut word and then there's this white lone doily. These are Teresa Collins words. That, where's my little, this was a bonus thing. And then these kind of matched. I'm not gonna use all of them. All of them don't match, but I do like the teal, the purple, and the pink. I might not even get to that. This is stuff that I've just been wanting to use up. I pulled out the silver for obvious reasons. These were leftovers from the other, mar other Scraptastic kits. So whenever I can pass them along to other kits, I can. I try to and then these are the last of this set from 2013 from Heidi Swap and the only one I might not be able to use or no I want to use this one and this one I don't know if I'll be able to pull these off we'll see and then these were my bonus round stuff that I wanted to use I don't know why I bought these buttons it was probably just because they were in the impulse aisle right at Joanne's, but they're so dimensional, but they're sparkly and they look awesome. And then pearls I hardly ever use, but I figured I'd throw them in here and see if I would, uh, it would encourage me to use them. But it, there, there's all kinds of colors in these sets. These were from Michael's from a long time ago and I just stuck them all in there. So that is the set completely for sure now. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you for the next mini kit Monday video.